Megan Olivi here with a victorious Danny Castillo who just defeated Anthony and Jaquani here at UFC 141 in Las Vegas. Danny, first of all, the booze. How do they mentally affect you when you hear that after a performance where you, you obviously put your heart in there and gave it your all? Uh, it's kind of frustrating because, uh, you know, I left everything I had out in the cage and uh, when you get booed, it's just, it's like, well, you know, what do you want? I, I want to, you know, be a fan favorite. I have exciting fights always and you know, unfortunately, that wasn't one of them. But, um, you know, I, I won. I'm leaving with two checks. And I look to improve in my next fight. You know, I, I'm going to make it a point to be more exciting. What do you want to improve? Because you said you weren't happy with your performance. Mm -hmm. When you look back, and obviously you have to look at the tape again, but, but what do you feel walking out of the octagon you would like to improve on? Um, everything. Uh, you know, it's not just this fight. This fight's behind me. You know, looking into 2012, I want to be a better fighter all around everywhere. Um, I think... Uh, you know, I'm a better jiu-jitsu player than he was, and I was a little bit frustrated that I, uh, you know, wasn't more active um, in terms of looking for submissions. So that's something I'm going to work on, and um, and I, I plan to be plan to come back a um, better jiu-jitsu player in 2012. Did anything about Anthony's performance surprise you when you when you actually got in there with him? Um, you know, he's a little bit stronger than than I thought he was. And, um, you know, his takedown defense was pretty good. I didn't think it was that that uh, was going to be that strong. But uh, in terms of anything else, you know, he's a dangerous striker, a dynamic striker. I knew what I was getting into. And, um, you know, he didn't surprise me there. He brought it. And, uh, you know, the, obviously I, I won. So I came out victorious. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I spoke to you uh, before this fight, and you said that you had a good game plan, and you felt like your game plan would be better than his, and that's why you would get the victory. Did you execute that game plan tonight? Do you feel that you did exactly what you wanted to tra when you were training? Um, I don't necessarily think I, I played the game plan 100%. Um, you know, the game plan was to take him down and look for a submission. Um, I wasn't as active um, in side control or, or with the mount um, or half guard. But, um, you know, other than that, you know, I, I, I took him down like I wanted to, and I believe I, can, I had the cage control. Um, you know, I put him in the fence, um, and um, I took him down with some big slams. Um, that's something that's becoming a trademark, trademark for me is a big slam. So, um, yeah, I, I think I executed the game plan, not 100%. But, um, you know, when you're going up against uh, another dynamic, anyone in the UFC is, you know, a, a great fighter. So I, I think I did a good job and enough to get the victory. So I'm happy with that. Yeah. How did you score the rounds, actually? Did you give yourself all three? Uh, what was your take on that? I'd say I, I won the first um, and third round. The second was questionable. Um, you know, he, uh, he had the better stand up in the second round. But I thought because of my takedowns in the second round, I think I took him down twice in the second round. I thought I, I won the round with that. But, um, you know, uh, obviously there was a, the judge out there that didn't believe that, so I don't know. Physically, how do you feel? Because we just saw you fight in San Jose, and that was about five weeks ago. So two fights, two different opponents in two months. How's your body holding up? Uh, my body's good. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a 22-year-old kid anymore, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm getting up there. I'm, I'm, I'm 32. But, um, you know, with Team Alpha Male, there's no off-season. We train year-round. Uh, don't get ready, stay ready. So uh, I think with that mentality and, um, you know, the, the team motto, um, it's helped me, you know, be able to deal with uh, this, this busy schedule. You know, my, my last, uh, the last six months have been pretty busy for myself. Do you feel like you want to take a little vacation now that you had two back-to-back -back fights? I think I owe it to my girlfriend to take a little vacation. Um, you know, she takes a, a backseat to my career all the time. So, um, you know, hopefully I could go sit and lay on the beach with her somewhere. But other than that, in terms of uh, taking a break from training, no. I'm going to be back running. I'm going to be back on the bike and be back working on um, any gaps in my game. All right. Now, when you were when you were speaking to Joe Rogan post-fight, uh, there were some boos, and, and it was like you couldn't finish your, your speech? Do you want to maybe finish that right now? Um, that, it was just I was I want to thank my mom. I want to thank my girlfriend. Um, you know, those are uh, two ladies that are real that play a huge role in my life and uh, their motivation for me. And um, I wanted to to thank them. But uh, unfortunately, I got booed and I wasn't able to. All right. Well, you just had the chance and now they get to see that and you probably made their night. Congratulations, Danny. Go celebrate.